Um, okay, uh, obviously this was a great win um, for the program. I think this is a big confidence booster for us. Um, we just stuck with it. We refused to lose, and it felt really good. My focus today was defense, if anything. Like, I was not worried about, like, the offensive end. I knew my teammates had it. I was trying to shut down Dungey, um, and it just came to me. I, I wasn't thinking, and that's probably the best part. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, first of all, CJ and Jaren, um, you guys, like, showed them on the boards today. Just talk about, like, the effort you guys did on that. Yeah, I mean, Charmin has been on us for, like, the past <laughs> – for a while since we've gotten here, I think, yeah. to, like, put a big emphasis on boxing out and rebounding. And, like, I feel like we kind of have, like, this up and down cycle where a couple games in a row we'll box out and rebound, like, really, really hard. And then some games we just let pe give people easy looks. Um, but I think today was, a, like, a change in mentality, I think. And, you know, we had inspiration and help from all of our teammates, Aveline. Um, everybody just crashing and having that energy is just, like, helps you and, like, really inspires you to do all the little things. Uh, I, I think uh, what what we told them was that they couldn't do anything that we didn't allow them to do. So when they caught up with us, it was because we had lapses, mostly defensively, gave them wide open threes that they shouldn't have had. And um, when we were locked in on the game plan and the scout and took away what their what their the shots that they were comfortable taking, then it made the game easier. So uh, I think we did a good job towards the end of controlling the letdowns not giving them the easy looks, and um, it allowed us to, to hold on to the lead. In hindsight, looking back on it, how key was that at the very end of the first half, you got those two extra free throws. How huge was that to get that little extra boost in that second half? Oh, definitely. Like, that was a huge um, game changer. Like, <clears throat> my team was <laughs> – I don't even know how to answer that question. Like. My team had me the whole entire time. Like we were, we were fighting. Like that really just changed the mentality going into the second half. Even though we had a little bit of a mess up. Yeah, we were pretty gassed, and um, to just be able to get a couple points on the board going in settled us down a little bit, and um, the, the spread felt a little bit more comfortable. Uh, was it eight? Set eight. It was eight. Mm -hmm. that's Eight, yeah, eight feels better against a team that's fifth in the nation and made three-pointers, right, than six. Um, and so, I mean, this they're, they're good. Like, they're second in the nation in, in free throws made, I believe, fifth in, in three-pointers made, um, seventh in scoring. Uh, so, again, we just wanted to make sure that every point they got they had to work for, and then we knew that they would allow us to score because it's not really their, their focus on the defensive end for them. Yeah, I thought, you know, CJ and Ave were just really beasty, and um, I didn't get deeper in that rotation. Um, I think, you know, Chen's very capable and is definitely a part of the rotation. It just didn't happen today, and she'll be ready. Um, she knows. Um, really what Chen has brought for us is uh, phenomenal defense, um, interior defense, right? And this was more of a perimeter defense-oriented game with three-point shooters, so not necessarily her strength. Um, but, but we know the bigs are coming. Um, this game got really close down to the wire in the fourth quarter. What kind of decisions did you make, need to make, and how were you able to perform to speed up the win that you had over a good team like Utah? Is that for me? Oh, yeah, you guys. I was really thankful we had timeouts left. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm really anxious to watch the last four or five minutes of this game, um, just for me in, in learning, um, you know, this is my first time calling the shots in this type of situation. And, um, you know, they, they were very attentive and focused and, and listened well and executed what we asked them to do. Um, and, you know, we had, I think Kylan made some huge free throws mm -hmm. with a team that shoots the three ball the way that they do. We didn't want to just be up three or up two. We needed that four point cushion. Uh, and, and that was really helpful.
I think at this point, I mean, we're not surprised anymore. Like, they are con- so consistent in their effort and how hard they play in practice, how hard they work, all the time that they put in outside <coughs> of practice, getting extra shots up, um, working out and all that stuff. So, like, at this point, it's like we expect this high standard from you, so anything less is – like, we're, we don't look at them just now as, like, oh, they're freshmen, that's a freshman mistake or whatever. We hold them to really, really high standards now, and they've proved that they can take it. 